now to three people who always win big. It's time to face the chasers. Answering our questions Hello. today for a change is the Dark Destroyer, the Beast and the Vixen. Welcome, all of you. Welcome, welcome. Let me see. Now, it is 11.21 and six seconds currently. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Um, at uh, 12 o'clock, voting closes for the NTAs. And the chasers are... Uh, uh, what category are you in this The part? quiz category this time. Right, OK. Quiz category, so okay. The, the, it, depending on where your category is, depends on how sort of well you yeah. do. Yeah. This is our seventh nomination, and four times we've been up against uh, this morning, and we've lost. Oh. And twice we haven't, and we've won. Right. So, so we're not in the same category as you. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> right, so uh, go to the uh, uh, NTA website. It's, it's really easy to vote and, uh, and vote for the chase. Oh, oh thank you. Thank or you. anyone else you'd like to or vote for. Or any other well. people you may love on the telly. <laughs> anyone at all. Right. So, um, I mean, people love the chase. I mean, there is no doubt about it. I mean, it's ten countries now, I think, that they, yeah. they do it in. It's been going for years. I mean, did you ever think at the beginning that it would be... As popular as it is now? Well, I was the original chaser back in yeah, 2008. Then both myself and Mark uh, did the pilot in uh, June 2009. And this year is going to be our 10th anniversary. And uh, we thought that it was going to be a successful format. Mm -hmm. uh, we was up against a show called The Fuse. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, The Fuse blew out. And, it did. Uh, here we are, here we are 10 years later. <laughs> and the chase caught it. Yeah. Um, well, that's it. I've been obviously done the chase in USA and Australia. And I know places like Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, South Africa have all been in extended talks to do their local version of it. Yeah. So we can but hope if they do come across that uh, we might get called up, like uh, Miss Ryan over here yeah. for the Chase Island. Exactly. You, um, you, did you write some of the questions for the pilot episode? Yeah, so I was involved even before these two guys were. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting away in the office typing away, writing the questions that they had to answer and thinking... I'd love that job. <laughs> so how did, why did it take so long for you to, to go from writing the questions to actually being a chaser? You'll have to have a word with the producers about that. Ah, right. <laughs> what, is it, what is it that they look for? How do you become a, a chaser? I think you've got to have your own sort of personality. I mean, we've got five uh, disparate personalities. I mean, I'm supposed to be the sort of dour, unsmiling one. Mark's supposed to be the sort of intimidating beast. Mm. And uh, Jenny's the sort of hot... Uh, vixen uh, as she is. And, and so the thing about you is this is kind of like your, your fun. You do this for fun because the, the day job is, is very serious indeed. Yeah, I'm a criminal defence barrister. So does one impact the other? I mean, do you sort of walk, start trying to do your day job and people sort of go... No, it's completely separate. I keep the two separate. Obviously, when I'm uh, uh, working as a, a barrister, that is uh, real life, that is yeah. serious. And uh, I can't help being recognised, but, uh, you know, people take, especially juries, uh, uh, the evidence seriously, not the personality. Right. But you've never been tempted during a case to go, right, the chase is on. No, I haven't, but, uh, as I say, um, I've had leaders who've mentioned the fact that I'm a chaser or a mastermind champion, yeah. and I do get slightly embarrassed about that fact, because it's not about that, it's about... No, no, fair representing enough. A client. How, do you, uh, how do you keep the, 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 the knowledge up? How do you continually top well, your heads up? I think it's fair to say we all um, study religiously uh, for example, read a good quality uh, newspaper every day, so really keep up to current affairs. And there's a little sort of in internal traveller, I prefer to call the sort of internal quizzer, who's always looking, that's an interesting fact. Are we likely to get asked that question at some point? So you file them away. You're nodding there, you agree with Yeah, you, you've always got to be looking at the news and what's changing in the world, um, the new things on TV, film, pop music, politics, and always with that mind of how likely is it to come up at work. But it's one thing reading it. I mean, we all read stuff as this, but retaining that information and being able to call upon it in, in you know under what, stress. Holly, if you're interested in something, you're going to remember it. I mean, it's as simple as that. I don't remember what, anything. You'd be surprised what you've forgotten, you know, because it's stored in your subconsciousness. And yeah. although we are sort of semi, uh, you know, we are professional quizzes, we're taught to actually, you know, react under pressure. You know, if you were given time, you could actually uh, recall what you've mm. just read because you're interested in that fact. Well, right. we've got a simple test when uh, they do try people out as perspective chasers all the time, and it comes down to 20 questions. Can you consistently get 20 questions right no. day in, day out on a two-minute final chase? Mm. And if you can't, you're going to cost ITV a lot of money. So <laughs> yeah, you don't exactly, get the job. exactly. Um, do, you all, do you all sit out the back? Are you all there for all the recordings? So no, used no, to be. We, we used to be, but uh, especially so far as I was concerned, uh, you know, I do have a uh, full-time job, so, yeah. you know, they do recognise that fact. And, uh, 
you know, when I've got uh, fairly big trials on, you know, that does take precedence. And, uh, you know, um, my producers are fantastic. They, you know, do recognise... So if you're not on for a bit, we know you're in court. Yeah. You know, I'm a lawyer. It happens to be on television, not the other way around. Yeah, but sure. This is one of the common misconceptions, cos we tend to have one or two losses a week and people say, oh, they, they ration it out. He must be, uh, you know, you control the results. It's not, obviously, we're not... You don't show the recording order in transmission order, so they get to the end of the series and then they allocate the show to particular yeah, days. Yeah, of course, that makes sense. And, and, Jenny, with you, was it um, Anne that got you on the on the job in the first place? She recommended you, Anne Hegarty. Yeah, uh, Anne and I quiz on the same uh, quiz league team in Bolton. So yeah. it's my, it's my, it started out sort of my family team and we recruited her quite a few years ago and she did approach me one cold January Monday evening in a, a conservative club as most of the quizzes happen to be yeah. um, and said that the producers were looking to audition some new chasers and they would like someone female and they would like someone younger and and while she liked being the only female chaser she'd if there had to be another one she'd quite like it to be me we which is which is the highest it. praise from Anne. It really <laughs> is and she was she was great in the jungle how Fantastic. did you feel watching her? Pride. Yeah. Her, you know, pride because she, you know, was taken out of her comfort zone, and she let uh, people know of her uh, uh, condition. And you know, it was a source of inspiration to people who suffer from that condition to know that uh, you, you can still uh, do well despite what condition you do have. Yeah. Well, it was yeah. Anne that was in the chaser's chair. Um, uh, uh, you, Mark, were backstage uh, yeah. the day this happened. Oh. <laughs> in what sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? Show jumping. <laughs> Fanny Schmeller. So um, I just thought it goes with show jumping. <laughs> We're gonna make a rule now. Never say it. Got her in the end. Know, even Anne went. Got her in the brilliant. end. I've seen that hundreds of times, and it still gets yeah. me because it, it's the amount of pain that Brad looks like he's in, trying not <laughs> so to good. not to crack. And when Anne goes, uh, it's yeah. I don't know how he managed to keep himself at that perfect <laughs> yeah. spot. Ninety percent gone, but somehow not collapsing. <laughs> yeah, no, he did well. Well, maths is your big thing. Yeah, yeah and there, you, you've you, you, such a big <laughs> thing that you've done a spreadsheet. Uh, so, oh, uh, yeah. so yeah, the spreadsheet of who's in the lead, who's got how many wrong, yeah, yeah. who's in the who's the lead chaser. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to reveal her name. Oh, oh really? One of them. It's you. It's yeah, it is. The it's ladies are one and two. Really? Are they really? Yeah, Go on, girl to power. Aside, well, listen, we know one thing: the chasers aren't that brilliant. Anne. I hope you don't. It's not going to cause any offence. But soap. If I was to say soap, would you say you're? Yep. Oh, I'll I don't know that. Oh, Superman oh, listen, needs Victor. kryptonite. Well, yeah. listen. <laughs> we're going to bring in our soap expert who knows everything uh, to test your soap knowledge. Good morning. Look at you. You look hot. Oh, thanks, darling. You look amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> stay. Right. You've got some questions, have you? I have. I wish this was Hang on a minute. Harder. Hang on a minute. The <laughs> chase is on. Ba 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 la la. <laughs> Anyone else feel the adrenaline? Okay, go. go. <laughs> Whenever that music starts, it's like the start of a race. Yeah, it is. You're going to get this. Is You're going to get this. I know, I know. I won't give you a second one. Which soap has been running the longest? Chronic. It's on it. It's on it. It's December the 9th, 1960. Is that true? They were quick. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that was really good. Off, yes, it is. I didn't have a chance to give all three. Emmerdale, Corey, or EastEnders, down to course, Coronation It was the what? Florey's Old Street, originally. Yeah. Really? The yeah. All right, who spoke the first words then, Smarty? Pants on the end? Um, <laughs> I, the know, I know in the first scene, uh, Ken Barlow was in it. Yeah. Um, no, no, it was in the... Was it in the corner shop? Anna it was Walker? in the corner shop. Uh-uh. No? Elsie. 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 Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, we all knew Big that one. Thank you. Go on, then. <laughs> thank you. I'll go now. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Good luck tonight. Before we, we go, you. I know thank you were you. really disappointed when you were, when you came on oh. because you said, I'm behind a screen, no-one can see my proper quizzing shoes. Look yes. at these shoes. These were made for me by Beth at Curiouser and Curiouser. I know. A lovely gift. they got a little quiz for They so are amazing. Cute. Quizzing shoes. And little glasses, little mm. frames for me. Thank um, you. Thank Thanks, you guys. very much. Good luck tonight. Good luck tonight. Luck you guys. Yeah, we'll see you later. Good luck for you tonight. Are you going? Will we see you there? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yep. Uh, it's my mission to be less sober than you tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, God. Good, Good luck. luck. <laughs> <laughs>